Acts 10, 34 and 35. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation he that fears him and works righteousness is, is accepted with him. Right? No. Uh, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil of the Jew first and also of the Gentile. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that works good to the, fir, uh, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. For there is no respect of persons with God. Adam. Romans 16, 1 through 2. And I command you, Phoebe. Phoebe, our sister, being a men ministry. What does that say? That's good. Ministry of the assembly that is in Zachariah, Zach that ye may receive her in the Lord, as doth become saints in the sister and whatever matter she may have in need of you. For she also became a leader of many and of myself. Ephesians 5, 21 through 22, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Thank you. You may be seated. What I want to preach on is this right here. Martin Luther, I have a dream that my four children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. That is from that is going with the Bible. Martin Luther King, what he taught was biblical. Mm -hmm. A lot of what is being taught right now is not biblical. Mm -hmm. It's full of hatred, resentment, and God doesn't like that. And uh, when I was in uh, Missouri, uh, we went to one of the museums and I picked this up. And it's a, a this is what they were supposed to put in their houses. A woman living here has registered to vote, thereby, thereby assuming responsibility of citizenship. That's what they used to put in their houses. I, I, I thought that was very good. I, we're going to have to put that up somewhere. <laughs> All right. Uh, but do you know women didn't get to vote at one time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was that right? No. Right. You follow the human zoos too. Yeah, it's the whole thing. Everybody is a flesh and blood as a human. Mm -hmm. Women should have the right to vote. Black people need the right to vote. Uh, a lot of people have been mistreated in this country. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but my history professor in um, seminary, uh, um, Dr. Macbeth said that um, the uh, wives of slave owners used to write in their diaries, God's going to judge us for this someday. Because I can tell you something, anyone that would mistreat slaves the way that they mistreated slaves, not all of them were that bad, but anyone who would do that would also mistreat his own wife. They go hand in hand. They really do. It's just the fact that they mistreated everybody. Um, and if the South would have won, I would have been a slave. Because my grandfather was a sharecropper. And they would have ended up being slaves just like everybody else. A lot of people don't realize that. But they were... Uh, only the elite would have been the last one standing. It was a very ugly system. But let's get into the scripture. 
Then people, Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of person. But in every nation, he that fears him and works righteousness is accepted by him. This is talking about when Peter went to see Cornelius, and uh, he was a, a, a Roman soldier. And uh, he had been summoned there by an angel. And uh, Peter, it was illegal for Jews to eat with, uh, to go into Romans, Romans' houses and eat with them. Do you know why it was illegal to eat with them? <laughs> because they, and the, one, the number one staple in a Roman household was pork. Now, I like to say Peter shared the gospel because of love of bacon. <laughs> and, and Paul jumped on Peter. This is in the scripture. I should have put this on here, but I didn't. But um, Paul, in one of the scriptures, it said it. He said that when Peter came, he was stood him to the face because he was the blame. Because Peter, when none of the Jews were around, he would eat with the Romans and love that bacon. <laughs> And then when the Jews came around, oh no, I don't eat with them. That's being a hypocrite, isn't it? That's Peter. A lot of people don't know that about Peter. But the thing of it is, Peter says, God is no respecter of person. We have put too many things in our system that have nothing to do with what God wants. God wants us to treat every person the same. Every person deserves to be loved and appreciated. Not just treated okay, but loved and appreciated. And we don't do that. Do we really love one another? <sighs> Should put that scripture on here. That's Jesus' commandment, love one another. Romans chapter 2, tribulation and anguish upon every soul that doeth evil, evil of the Jew first and also of the Gentile. If you're doing evil... The scripture says, tribulation and anguish. Verse 10, but glory, honor, and peace to every man that works good, to the Jew first and also of the Gentile. Verse 11, for God is not a respecter of person. No respect of person with God. For there is no respect of person with God. I read it wrong, or said it wrong. Those who do good, God honors. Those who do evil will, God does not honor it. God does not honor evil. He honors good. And God is no respecter of person. God doesn't care. He honors those who believe him and follow his commandments. Romans chapter 16. This is going to throw a lot of you off, off your seat. I commend to you Phoebe, our sister. Who's Phoebe? A girl. What? A girl. A woman, yes. My opinion, and you can disagree with me, but I really believe it, that Phoebe wrote the book of Hebrews. Because... In the Old Testament, there's the book of Ruth and there's the, the book of Esther. Two books by women. Uh -huh. How many books in the New Testament by a woman? None. Uh -huh. And Hebrews doesn't identify the author. And oftentimes, uh, there were women who wrote books and women writing books wouldn't sell. So they uh, uh, would use a pen name so that nobody would know they're a woman. So that makes sense to me that Phoebe wouldn't identify herself because if she would have put her name down, they said, oh, that's a woman. I'm not going to read that. So I think it was very smart on her part. And that's the way I believe it. And you can disagree with me, but I still believe it. Be an administrator of the assembly in the, 
and centuria. Ministry, what is that? If you're looking at it, I, I did not pick the King James Version or the New King James Version. I picked Young's Literal Translation. I don't use it very often. I might start using it more. Well, then why not, Dave? Why? Uh -huh. Because in the in all your versions, they want to use the word deacon. And if you look down there at the notes I got on there, uh, in the King James Version, it uses the word servant. The Greek word is deaconos, or deaconess. It's oftentimes the way we translate that. It was a female deacon. Young's literal translation translated it as a ministry because deacons were basically about the same as a pastor in those days. Uh, whenever they use the word deacon, it's more along the lines of a pastor. And so Phoebe in the Greek was a female deacon. But when they translate it, they don't want anyone to know that she was a female deacon. So they would come up with the word servant, which is what the word deacon means. Deacon means servant. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it means. Isn't that what God wants, though? Yes, it sure is. But the thing of it is, God's not a respecter of person. It doesn't matter if a person is a female or a male. If they're a deacon or a servant of the church, why can't we use the same title for both people? The church doesn't do the things of God. But Phoebe, I believe, wrote the book of Hebrews. But she was a helper, a, a leader of many, is the way Young's put it, and of myself. She taught Paul. She was a, a, one that instructed him. And that's why a lot of what she says in Hebrew sounds a lot like Paul, because they're the same. But there are people that would never accept that, that Phoebe was a female deacon, even though that's what the word is. Do you know a church is like that? I do. Let's not, let's not go down that road. But God is not a respecter of person. That's what I want you to know. Women need the right to vote. No, we need indeed. to be judging people by their character, not by the color of their skin or whether they're male or female. Take it a little bit further. We're all the same in God's sight. And the only thing that's important to God is, are you serving Him or are you following the devil? And you can't do both. All right, Ephesians. Now I'll get in trouble again. Oh, Verse 21. Submit yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Submit yourselves to one another in the fear of God. Did you know that's, that is what God wants from us? We, he doesn't want people out there trying to get their way about everything. Let other people have their way. Submitting to one another. In other words... Well, one of my favorite ways of explaining this, when I was in New Mexico, I had, I don't really want to call him a friend, it was more like an acquaintance, but I, I call him a friend. And so he went with me to the bank once. And so I got in line to get, in, to get up to the teller. And he was all over the bank. And just as I... Guy, the next person, the person in front of me was up at the teller. When that person stepped away, he stepped in front of me. He wanted to be able to step in front of me. <laughs> he didn't want to wait in line, but as soon as I got up to the bank, he stepped in, in front of the teller, he got up to the teller. He stepped in front of me. And uh, there it yeah, I laugh at it, but he had to cut in line in front of me. Is that a respect for a person? No, no. Well, I mean, he he wasn't treating us. He wasn't treating me the same, was he? Mm -hmm. He was treating himself as better. 
That's what I believe most rich people are like. What? Most rich people are like that. I don't think so. No? No. That is a misconception. There's rich people that think that way. Yes. But there's also rich people that don't think that way. Right. I know. So most of them don't think that way then? It's, that's not the, what we're talking about. We're talking about all of us need to be, to treat everyone the same mm -hmm. and not to respect one person more than someone else. Um, as a matter of fact, if anything, as people are poor that know a rich person, what do they normally do? Harass them. They, they treat them very nice because they want to get something from them. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real! Uh, if a person is rich, other people will treat them like, oh, you're very nice to them, talk to them and everything. Because why? They're hoping they'll, 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 they'll get something out of it. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, submitting yourself to one another in the fear of God. What's verse 22? Why submit yourselves to your own husband? Yep. Yep. Anyone who reads 22 without 21 is not following the Bible. 21 says submit yourself to one another. Is a wife another? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're supposed to submit to one another. Husbands submit to their wives, wives submit to the husband. Yeah. It's supposed to be working together, not against each other. Concerning verse 22, I will say this. We do need in our society things that make a distinction between men and women. When I was growing up, a man opened the door for a woman. Mm -hmm. Is that a good thing? Yeah. I think so. I still do. Okay. There needs to be some societal things like that, but it's not because God respects one more than the other. It's just that we need a little influence to treat one another with respect. And that's a way to respect a woman. And uh, although you better be careful who you do that for nowadays. Because <laughs> some people don't accept that. My Aunt Connie taught me yeah. like that. Okay. The thing of it is, respect people. Respect a person, whether it's a man or a woman, we need to respect one another. Whether they're black or white or something else, we need to respect them. We need to be concerned about them and to be friendly, to give them a hug sometime. Do we really respect one another? There, there should be no difference. Adam, you brought up the wealthy. Paul, I don't have the scripture in front of me, but Paul did talk about that. And he said not to give honor to, if someone comes in and there's an empty seat and a, a poor person comes in and a rich man, oh, we'll give the seat to the rich man. Churches do that. We, we show respect to someone rich because we're expecting money from them. It's, the chair is open. Whoever wants to sit down there first can sit down first. No respect the person. And if there's only one cha chair left, then stand up against the wall or something, you know? Uh, we got plenty of chairs today, so we don't have that problem, do we? No, we don't. Uh, I wish more people came. Well, I tell you what, there's not many here today, but I tell you, the, the ones that needed to be here are here. The are most here. important ones. The most important ones are here today. And God does want this message. God loves this message. He likes for us to treat other people with respect and dignity. And not be running other people down. 
and saying bad things about them. There's a, a guy I know, and Luca knows him, mm -hmm. no names, and uh, he says things against women all the time. You know where I'm going, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was in the ER with this person once, and he was running down women. I said, you better be careful. Your doctor is a, is a woman. Because mm -hmm. he was saying women can't drive and stuff like that. And she, she got him. She got him good. <laughs> oh, the doctor yeah. lady did? What? The doctor lady did? Oh, yeah. Got him she got him good. She taught him a lesson. Oh, yeah. Well, she tried to teach him a lesson. I don't think she taught him a lesson. No. Because <laughs> he still does those things. I know this is a must of things. But God is no respecter of person. God is no respecter of person. That is the message today. Not regardless of color, whether we're black, white, red, or yellow. Remember that song? Yes. Red or yellow, I'll black or white. Or they are precious sight. in his sight. Yeah, Whether they're that. male or female, it doesn't make any difference. Mm -hmm. God loves us all. We're all the same. And we need to respect one another. The only thing that you, God does honor is those that obey Him. God will honor you if you obey Him. If you came to church because you love Him, God will honor you. And you came to church today because you love God. Right. God honors that. So don't, don't neglect that. Because it will give you a reward. There is a reward for those who come to church. I didn't know that. Well, don't you believe God rewards you when you do things for Him? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's not, we don't want anyone to ever feel bad for not coming to church, do we? No. We believe in liberty. Right. But if you obey God, God will honor that. That's just the bottom line. I, you know, if you come from the right motive, I, should, I guess I should say. There are people who come to church for the wrong motive, don't they? Right. I know people that come to church and all they do is come to church to ask me to give them money. <laughs> So, you know, that's not of God. All right, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father,